Today's Thursday though, so Thursday's kind of relaxed because you know the practice isn't as hard, but you got a whole full day load of classes from eight to two o'clock, and now I need to go run over here so I can try and make this lift in time, so I don't get in trouble. All these people out here come Saturday, it's gonna be crazy. I'm telling you right now. I mean, ain't no stadium like Lane Stadium. I can tell you that one right now. No stadium like Lane Stadium. Them fans, they get going and it's crazy. You think we had 200,000 in our stadium? This offense can be so dangerous at times, I'll tell you right now. When we start to put everything together and uh, everything starts clicking on all cylinders, there's no telling how good we could be. See y'all at practice. Good walking with y'all. It's a mental day, so we go out there and practice today. Short practice, probably like an hour. Go out there and just do some real easy stuff and just get mentally right, get prepared for Ohio. Don't you want me, baby? All right, what a day. What's up for the camera? Don't act like you don't see it. <laughs> when we do a backflip, we don't usually try to pull any pranks, you know, because most pranks, people end up getting hurt. We don't want to do that two days before a game. So don't be playing around with me. I hope we're ready to go. We get one shot at this thing, and, and ordinary teams probably would go out there, ordinary teams would go out there and maybe just put in time, sir, maybe. But I think we're going to see, are we a special team? Or we get things done? Do we do it our way? You know, it's about Virginia Tech. It's about Virginia Tech, and that's what we need. We need to get this thing cranked up. You know, don't assume. I told you yesterday. If you start assuming you're going to beat Ohio University now, we'll walk through that tunnel with our heads down. Uh-uh, can't do it that way. Beat Ohio on three. One, two, three. Beat Ohio! What's going on, Reggie Butler? Food of it. He's getting fatter by the second row. I lost a total of eight pounds since yesterday. <laughs> That's, okay. like, that's like one percent of your body weight, dude. Officially on my diet tonight, I'm gonna stick to two pieces. Two regular three. This kid has the best stomach on the O line. Fat boy, look at that. Come on, Lee. Suck in, Marshman. Hey, quit sucking it in, Marshman. Y'all keep thinking I'm sucking in when I'm not. Oh, uh, what are you doing? I'm working on mine. It's coming along. It's coming along pretty good. Looking good. Man. Top three out of the top ten heaviest offensive linemen. In the ACC, this is number two, Gore. Who do you want to thank for that, Gore? I like to thank my uh, mother, Nadine Gore, for teaching all those great meals. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Thanks so well. Doesn't Reggie look like a fat old woman with his hair like that? <laughs> <laughs> Big fat, ugly girl. Right. With some facial hair. We're done eating, we're done sinning, we glutton. Bunch of gluttons. Discussing mountains and pounds of range. You, know you know what's funny, Martin? I was just telling Reggie, a friend of mine just called me and they want to take me out for some ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. That's even better. Shut up. Yeah. That stuff. I'm going! Hey! Hey! Don't catch me! Let's go! <laughs> Hello! Come on in! Welcome to our house. This is my favorite room in the house. Where do we come and watch TV some? And, but it, it's got a lot of people in here that uh, I know, and it's got a lot of my former players. This is when I was in high school, I was a high school quarterback, and uh, threw uh, 43 touchdown passes in two my junior and senior year. Which nobody believes. My career gets better the longer we get away from it, because okay. not many people yeah. remember, see? I can tell them whatever they want to tell them. Nobody knows. This is when they retired Frank's jersey here at Tech. That was, um, I guess, Casey's senior year, but there's our daughter Casey and Shane, and Shane wore his dad's number when he played here at Tech. I think the day I met her, I returned the pass, uh, yes, uh, interception for a touchdown, touchdown, so that was yeah, a pretty good day. It was snowing, so. Things were clicking good that day. Nobody retired your number. Yeah. That, that catch right there. Yeah. <laughs> I grew up in Fancy Gap, Virginia, and they, you know, we had those mountain streams that came through there and the mountains behind me. So I never I never realized I liked them until I moved away and didn't have them. Then we were fortunate enough to be able to find this place. I think the mountainside here is just beautiful. My favorite spot. I like what I do and I like what's happening at Virginia Tech because I talk about during the week, there's so many people going in different directions with different interests, different jobs. But then on Saturday, 
everybody's going in the same direction. I mean, it's every, you know, it's a the Hokie Nation, as Cheryl talked about, going in the same direction. So it's, it's pretty neat being a part of that, I think. And watching it grow. When you see change in the program, it's hard to leave that. And, you know, and you feel like you've been a part of it. And, and, uh, and then there's just a lot of special people around here. So, yeah, I, I hope we can finish it up here. What was that one again? Stay tuned for more of the season. Virginia Tech football.